so anyway, um, yeah, now we can't ever get on that bus at that stop, ever, again. And the, the thing is, that bus, it's not a bus that you can just hop on, like, you always have to wait for that bus, always. And I feel bad because my roommate can't ever go on that bus stop either, because he, the store is, like, right there. You stand in front of the bus stop, the store is right across. I mean, it's on the same block. It's like four steps away from the stop. So I feel bad for her too. Um, gosh. But anyway, can you believe that? I have a stalker. <laughs> Not really, but I had like a stalkish encounter with an Egyptian in Hong Kong on a Thursday afternoon. Weird. I mean, I, I do have a magnet that, like, draws randomness and weird craziness. I just was not expecting it here. I was expecting to not be an outcast, but, like, for people to kind of leave me alone because I'm not your average person. Like, kind of, like, be like, oh, okay, she's not one of us, so we're not going to bother her. No. The fact that I was black living in Hong Kong, a black New Yorker, a black woman, ugh, and that, okay, did not phase this Egyptian. I don't know. And then he had the nerve to ask me, are you, he kept asking me, are you really a New Yorker? And I was like, yes, can't you tell from my ass, my, <laughs> can't you tell from my accent? He was like, oh, yeah, 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 he's like, but well, I just meet so many <clears throat> black people who say they're from New York and then you find out weeks later that they're lying and they're from Africa or um, from Africa or from Jamaica or so I was just like why would people like in my why would people lie about something like that I mean from what my experience people who aren't American don't want to say they're American like black people who aren't Americans like they usually not to say all Cause that's stereotyping but a lot of my in my experience like a lot of non-native American black people from like the islands or from Africa they don't like them black Americans they don't want to be associated especially black New Yorkers like there's like this taboo you know <laughs> like we're evil and dirty and like the forbidden cousin or something I don't know but anyway I'm Odd, right? So my roommate was like, "Oh, I think he like he really no." She didn't say I think. She's like, "He really likes you, but I hope you're not gonna call." And I was like, "Girl, please." It's the same thing in New York. You just play the game a little bit and then let it go. But it's a little scary because our address and our exact building number, our floor number, and it's all in the system at that store. And he could seriously like look it up anytime. So that's a little scary because um, he actually works at the store so fingers crossed. Um, yeah just had to let you guys know that he, he was like I mean yeah he was trying to sell like play the card of like oh I'm gonna help you selling you stuff or you know give you a good deal he tried to like, win my favor and then and then he invited us to come over to his apartment next week so he can cook for us. He'll cook us Egyptian food. Real Egyptian food. And I was like, hmm, Egyptian food sounds good, but mm -mm, not from you. Not from you. Oh. Yeah. I'm not even gonna go into, like, physical appearance. Ugh. That's that's neither here nor there. He wasn't like the beast. Like, no. But there were some things that based on my list of credentials that somebody needs, he had like two check marks. And I'll just list one. I'll just list one. Um He blew smoke right in my face. Like he was smoking a cigarette outside I I mean smoke fine 
But don't blow it right in my face when you're talking to me. Like, curb that thing, okay? Curb it. Curb it. So, anyway. Yeah. Okay, I'll just tell you, okay? Ugh, I feel bad now. I just want to say it. Sorry, I'm going on my mouth. Um, that's part of my... I can't say the, the A-S-K-E-D word. Because I'm going on my mouth. Um, but yeah. His teeth. Oh, God. Um, yeah, so it was the smoking blowing in my face. Ugh. And then, like, he... Okay. You know, like, how you can have... Like, your teeth can look like you smoke? Or your teeth can look like you don't smoke? He had the teeth that looked like he had been smoking for over a century. Like, I was just like, oh my god, um, you gotta know how to keep that thing clean. Like, you gotta, like, if you're gonna smoke, you gotta take care of your teeth, okay? The teeth were a little crooked, but I don't care about that. Like, my teeth are crooked. Like, most of my teeth are crooked. Fine. I'm not whole, like, that's the way you were born. I'm not holding that against you. I'm not saying you have to go get that fixed. But, your teeth, like, the hygiene of your teeth, like, brush it. Um, Listerine. Oh, God. I just... I, okay. It was bad enough, like, you don't want to look and give him attention, and I couldn't stop looking at him because I couldn't stop... Oh, my attention kept getting drawn to his teeth, and I was like... Ooh, God. Yeah, he really needed some Listerine. Um, not that his breath was bad, just to kill, like, I just, his teeth just looked like they had so many germs in them. But this is kind of going off topic, but yeah, like, I was telling my room, I was like, why couldn't it be someone who was, like, you know, dream -boaty? Like, at least that way it would have been kind of fun. <laughs> But it wasn't. It was like a nightmare. I had a nightmare. And that's funny because I haven't dreamed since I got here. And usually when things like that happen, I kind of have like some kind of foreshadowing in a dream. No warning. Thank you very much, Mr. Dream. Um, yeah, he's a mister. Is he always playing games with me? My dream master. Um. <laughs> it's kind of random. But yeah. So, just want to let you guys know that, um, yeah, I will give you guys an update soon about some new adventures I go on with my, um, new roommate, and food I'm eating and whatnot and whatnot. Um, being a vegetarian is getting harder and harder, even though I'm not really a vegetarian, but I find myself being more vegetarian because fish things are more expensive, or they all have curry, and I don't want to eat too much curry, so, anyway keep you guys updated. Ugh, I remember I wanted to be a vegan coming out here, but if you're not cooking your own food, which I'm not, it is so hard to be a vegan. I don't I don't know how anyone can be a vegan here and not cook your own food. Like, we went to a ramen noodles place the other night, and it said vegetarian. Okay, I was getting the vegetable ramen noodles. And thank goodness the waitress came back over and was like, oh, you know it has pork in it. I was like, it says vegetarian. And she's like, it's made with pork, all ramen. I was like, they don't even listen on the menu. They just assume they, they everyone's supposed to assume that everything has some kind of beef or pork in it. Yeah, like my roommate got curry, and they didn't say anything about chicken or beef. And I think she had beef, or was it chicken? And they didn't tell. They don't say it on the menu. So that's something a little interesting. I'll let you guys know that everyone here apparently is a carnivore, like through and through, like. You know? So we'll see how this goes. Um, but anyway, I'll keep you all posted and we'll send you a new video very, very soon. All right. Laters. <laughs> all right. For real. Laters. Bye. I mean, laters. Bye. Laters.